wasn't feeling too terribly well. I think going into the office got him a little bit of outside ick. Not like a full sickness, but he was definitely um, coughing and sneezing a fair bit more than usual. So he, and he was feeling a little like he was on and off all day. Um, but anyways, we thought we were going to have to make a run to like Media Mark for his computer because he actually blue screened out of WoW Friday night. <laughs> okay, something smells. Okay, something smells like a tomato soup in here. The weather is frightful outside. We have been having rain hail, rail, hitting the window that faces behind me, directly behind me in my computer. Um, yeah, see, that's the kind of stuff that's been coming through. Everything gets stretched at this point. This is what it looks like. That's, yeah, we're gonna have a 4.2 millimeter per hour spike. And the wind is BFT-8. It's, we're having an act, like I said in the previous video, there's a storm I come and it's also in my brain. That comment from my therapy video that probably should have been on a football video. Um, yeah, kind of got to me. I waited about a day um, to let Eric read it. And I kept reading it over and over, making sure that I personally understood it. But I know that I misread things, and especially with RSD and whatnot, it gets awkward. I'm heading to the store to pick up dinner. We are not leaving today, because Aaron is still feeling hoosty. We have no mail. But we do need dinner, and we don't want to order in. I mean, yeah, the camera is getting all wet because it is raining, but I don't know. I've been, I almost cried myself asleep because I was doing fine holding it to myself, but whenever I have to tell someone um, and not keep something a secret, yeah, that's when I start losing it. And when I had Aaron read that comment last night in bed is when I about lost it. He doesn't know what to make of it either. But it took a lot of wind out of my sails and I'm gonna have to take a while to recover because you know how the Dutch are. Like, I don't know. It feels like the, the way that comment was worded, it was like, I've heard that about everything my entire life. You just don't really feel like you really wanted to do it. My dad said it. My mom said it. Like, it didn't really feel like your thing. I don't know why you were anywhere near here. Because nobody knows me. They think they do. But, you know? And now I'm like, shuddering. Because I don't know what to do for dinner. They didn't have any stamp pot down there. They did, but it was all the stuff that I, it was. It's like mixed with kale, and I just gourd and coal. I just I couldn't. They had mine, but not with the forest. It was just a big chunk. The stamp hot met zircoal. I think it's blinking red. <laughs> but I'm not feeling real good right now. It 
really makes me wonder. Am I just constantly meant to be, like, I should be absolutely thrilled and lucky that I found Aaron because it's the one person in this entire fucking world.